Kira, um, I, I will only take one minute. Um, and I've really only got one thing I want to say, um, and that is to thank everyone who's been involved with uh, Occupy. And I want to uh, thank you because of what I've learned over the last three weeks uh, from participating in the occupation at Auckland. Um, I, I work in the university. For those of you who have only met me down at camp until now, I do this as well, right? You know, I teach here. You know, I, I do this stuff as well. And uh, I, I've, been, I've been in this kind of conflict the last weeks in those two roles. When people ask me, the media or whoever, you know, are you, are you speaking about Occupy or are you speaking as a sociologist or what? And, um, and that conflict is one that I uh, invite all of the academics here to participate in that conflict a lot more. To participate in being drawn into that movement, participating in it. Because I think this movement has something very important to say, not from the position of university discourse, but to university discourse. So if, if we make a theoretical uh, source here, we might recall Benedetto Croce's book, What is Living and What is Dead in the Philosophy of Hegel. Now, some will be aware that Zizek has a contemporary reversal of this in which he says, no, the point is not to say what is living in, and what is dead in the philosophy of Hegel from the point of today, rather, the point is to say, what is living and what is dead in today from the point of view of Hegel? And I'm inviting you all to do the same as well. Don't do scholastic analyses of this movement in which you say, what is good and what is bad about this movement from the point of view of university discourse? Yeah? But rather, from the point of view of this movement in which you can participate. You can. It's just there. We're in it. What is living and what is dead in the university? Thank you.